Are you ready? <laughs> because it's it's been a it's been a little bit of time since we've last played. I've been playing Stardew a lot. So um also at this current time, at the time of me saying these words, episode 65 is being uploaded tomorrow. So we're on episode 66 right now. So if you're coming from YouTube and you're not caught up yet, I'm so sorry. The next episode's going up tomorrow at noon. So you're just like one episode behind. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and uh, figure out what's going on in here. So we are playing the Sims and Bloom Legacy Challenge. There is a link to that in the chat if you type exclamation point SIB. This is our heir. Her name is Clementine and she is... The tulip generation she's kind of off the grid farm lifestyle so we're playing off the grid and simple living which means we don't have electricity and power um and we have to like grow all of our food to be able to make any food so it's kind of hard um but i'm i'm having fun with it we're doing a great job so far so this is clem um this is clem one of clem's parents tatum who is now an elder uh this is our firstborn child ivy Firstborn of the Lily generation. She's so cute, so pretty. Uh, we also have another baby named Dove, who is invisible. Ah, yes, of course. She had to come out of the floor. Don't worry, she's here. So this is Dove. I like her because she has white hair like a dove. So I think that's kind of fun. Just born. Uh, this is our boyfriend who we summoned from a wishing well named Ren. Um, you might be asking, what does that mean? You summoned him from a wishing well? Yes, that's exactly what it means. We made a wish for a boyfriend and the game gave us Ren. So he lives with us now. And um, then this is our mom, Sakura, who is the previous generation. She's the cherry blossom generation. Um, she's upstairs and is also an elder. Um, this is our dog, Cherry, who is eating some poop, you know, as dogs do. And this is uh, Nabeline, our horse. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dove. Dove's the name. So the, the name of the Lily generations are, are Ivy and Dove at the moment. So, yeah. <laughs> I miss Nabeline as well. All right. So I'm just going to play and see what's going on here. Oh, yeah. Here we go. It's the morning. I did. I gave her a cutie mark. It's supposed to be like a tulip. A little tulip cutie mark. Oh, and that's our ranch hand. Michiko. Did you give Koi their romantic interest? I have to be honest with you, I did not. So that's something I'm going to have to do next episode. <laughs> it was too much time in between that I forgot to do that. Thanks for the reminder, though. Because uh, a lot of people probably made romantic interest for Koi. And that's not something I want to do on stream because feelings might get hurt if I don't choose your sim. And I don't want that to happen. So, um, yeah, the dog was like literally eating poo. That was kind of crazy. Okay, this is the nursery. Oh, yeah, we do have to remake this bedroom for Ivy because this is now going to be... The nursery for Dove, who is tired. So try to go night night. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. I love your cat. Thank you. Her name's Olivia. God forbid a dog have hobbies. Poo munching is a hobby? I don't think so. Okay, Ren, are you good? Oh, you had a teapot up your butt. Maybe that's why you weren't good understandable you can't just kick them out of here oh my god what the heck we have another bathroom that you could go to ren oh my god the dog is still dirty that's so annoying all right bye tatum have a good day at work ivy okay has ivy been playing in the trash i think she might have been I do not like having this many sims in my house. I do have to say that. I am uncomfortable. So please, um, <laughs> please be gentle. Hi, Bebo. It's good to see you. Oh my god, Ivy just kicked her in the shin. Aggressive? 
It's becoming clear that little Ivy is a little more aggressive than other toddlers. Oh my god. That was crazy. Hi, Olive. Yeah, I miss it too. Okay, well, Ivy, even though you just kicked me in the shin, I'm going to go make your bedroom. I don't know if you deserve it at the moment. But it is what it is. Jeez. That was kind of uncalled for. Okay. Nothing like kicking your mom in the shin. I could never imagine doing that. Like, my mom would literally... I mean, rightfully so, so, she would beat me if I did that. <laughs> That's just so unhinged to me. Um, okay, where should I put this portrait of Jazz? Our autograph. I guess I'll put it here. Koi is the one who had it. Yeah, your firstborn is a menace. Oh, I'm gonna miss the Koi's on the floor. Also, I forgot to give Koi their Koi fish. So, their Koi fish named Prom. I guess belongs to Ivy for now. Um, that's fine. We're like redoing this whole bedroom, so. That's okay. I'm gonna get rid of pretty much everything, I think. Hi, Nemesis! How are you? Okay, um, bedroom for a toddler that is green and white themed is what we're going for today. Hi, hi. All right. Um, I almost want to do like a, a carpet in here. Is that weird? It's a little bit weird, maybe. Maybe I should just stick to doing like like green rugs maybe i'll pick out some wallpaper too hi kelsey i'm having a great day thank you hi ninny how are you their game keeps crashing oh no i'm sorry to hear that that is not ideal Ooh, this is so pretty, but, like, she's a toddler, so I should probably go with, like, a more toddler-themed wallpaper. I could go with, like, this, you know? But maybe this is, like, an accent wall. House is so cute. Thank you! I built it myself! Yeah, carpet makes sense, but I also kind of want to do, like, fun rugs. And I feel like rugs on carpet can get a little bit weird. What if we did, like, a ladybug rug? We also have frog rug. Frog rug is kind of exciting. I like that one a lot. <laughs> I think the green flower wallpaper is base game, yeah. So pretty, right? Frog rug is like the only reason I would buy my first pet stuff, to be honest with you. There's nothing else redeeming about that pack. Just frog rug. Frog rug alone is like... <laughs> yeah, I wish that there was more frog themed kid stuff as well. That'd be so cool. I think I'm just gonna do like this green bed with yellow sheets for now. Um yeah, we'll go with that. Okay, aquarium table hater. Oh listen! The aquarium table is just not a vibe. And I will die on that hill. It's just like... 
I, I would like it maybe if it wasn't so chunky and like blocky. Oh no, I hope your brother has a good recovery, Cat. No, that's so sweet of you to do that for them. I thought it was your favorite item. Well, clearly you don't know me at all, Lulu. You don't even know me. <laughs> right, I'm going to do like this book table here because I think that that's really cute. Yeah, Sims and Bloom today. Honestly, surprise, right? Surprise, surprise. I don't think anyone was expecting me to play this today. Even my mods were like, wow, you're being so brave. <laughs> what pack is the adorable frog rug from? Uh, it's from my first pet stuff. No, I have not gotten a sim off the gallery for Koi. I totally forgot about that. That's my bad. I should have done that, but I just... I foregore. Very, very sorry. So I'll have to do that next time. It's okay, though. They're still young, so it's not like it's a rush or anything. All right, let's get some fun things in here. I do really like this, like, kiwi rug. Maybe I'll see if I can, like, use that. I don't know. It's, like, a little too big. Maybe it's fine. Maybe I don't care. It's supposed to be for marbles. I do really like this um, toy chest here. I think that's cute. Yeah, of course. I love Simpson Bloom. Aw, yay. Added the Shello Cemetery to my legacy save and the wishing well, and it's already causing chaos. Uh-oh. What's happening? Tell me the tea. What's going on? Okay, this is actually, like, really perfect for a dollhouse. It's, like, perfect size. And then maybe I can get like a bookshelf here or something? Or should I do the bookshelf here? And the toy chest over here. I will say this camera is like bouncing around a lot and I'm trying to figure out why it might be doing that. And I think it's because of the um, way I built the roof. So it's like kind of annoying. It's like jerking me around so much. So I'm sorry about that. That's cute, right? Having like a little... Maybe I'll do this one, actually. I feel like that's nice. I kind of want to put the fishbowl, like, in there, too. In the little triangle hole. Let me just get a shelf. <laughs> the not-so-very crossover with the 100 infant challenge. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with my saves right now. They're all kind of crazy. I'm about to start Sims in Bloom. I have a family of three daughters, so I'm going to pick one of them as Gen 1. Oh my gosh, I love that. I hope you have the best time. Thank you so much, Shella. You have no idea how much your content helps me with my anxiety. I will be forever thankful, Rish Love. Wait, you can't be that nice. Thank you. That's such a sweet thing to say. Thank you, Cece. No. No, you. Oh, man. <laughs> That's so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. It does It is pretty cool to hear um, that my content is able to help in some way. So thanks for telling me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me see if there's any, there's like this, but what am I going to do with that shelf? Maybe I'll just hang this up here. Even this is, even though that's meant for babies. I think it's cute. I think 
up. This is a pretty good toddler room. I just need toddler potty. Which is there? I'm looking for maybe there's not a green one. I thought that there was a green one of these, but I guess not. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's happening in the chat? Absolutely not. No, no, no. I don't know what you guys are doing. Absolutely the heck not. We do not need to be saying that. <laughs> Lulu. <laughs> okay, I'm not looking at chat anymore. I've decided. Oh, I've decided. Thank you. I'll put a little blurfy right there. I think that's fun. <laughs> you guys are are way too sweet. All right, here we go. And then maybe I can add some like fun little wall stickers or something. We could have this right here, maybe, for measuring. Okay, okay, okay. You guys are too much. Too much! And then... I don't know, I feel like that's kind of fun. I'll put that on the wall. Yeah. Maybe on these walls, too. Just to help with imagination. Yeah, I like that. You took your kitten on a walk? I have never heard of someone walking their cat. I think some people do it though. Olivia would not like a walk. She'd be like, absolutely the heck not. What are you doing, mother? Wait, why are these so cute? I'm gonna put these on the wall. Fun. Yay. Okay. And then I need some curtains. Curtains for sure. Maybe these ones. Oh boy. We're going to have an issue here, aren't we? There we go. Yeah. I like that. One of your neighbors walked their guinea pig. Interesting. Oh no. Sometimes one of the neighbor's cats follows me when I walk around the neighborhood. That's what our cat used to do growing up. So basically I had a childhood cat named Leslie. I didn't name her. Um, but she was feral basically and kept going to our neighbor's house and nobody could figure out like where she came from or any of that. So, um, one day when my parents were gone, I like let her into our house and ever since then she would just keep coming back to our house specifically for like attention. And my parents were like, wow, she really likes us. <laughs> Little did they know <laughs> what I had done. Um, but yeah, and then we ended up adopting her. But she was she was an indoor-outdoor cat, um, which I would not do with my cats today. But because she came from outdoors, it felt like cruel to not let her outside again because she would beg to go outside. Um, it's not necessarily the best life for a cat, but because she was from the streets, we were like, she knows what she's doing. It's fine. And she lived a long, happy life. So, yeah. It was quite, quite lovely. I had to move away from her when I went to college. And I miss her. Wow. 
Once I met a man walking two dogs on the lead, one was a golden retriever. When I got closer, the other one was a sheep. Oh, a sheep? Now that is something I've never heard before. Walking a sheep on a leash. Wow. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit different when a cat is like a street cat versus like having an indoor cat and letting them go outside. I think that's not a great idea. Not a great idea at all. Here we go. I think that this is a cute little setup. There we go. Maybe I'll move the lamp forward just a tiny bit. Perfect. Yay! How do you pull away the surface and still have the same object on top of it can do that? Um, I'm not sure I fully understand your question. What, maybe I read it wrong. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, alt placing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically you can just hold alt and it will stay at that level. Maybe that's what you're referring to. Um, but yeah, if you hold alt, the object will stay at the level that you leave it at. Kind of handy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Like that. A little jar of marbles there, too. Fun! Okay, I think I like this for the kids' bedroom. I'm going to get rid of that light, though. There we go. Perfect! Yeah, of course. Where's this shelf in game? Um, it's from base game. It's called Childhood Wonder. In the shelf category, it surfaces. Okay, I think that this is probably... I'm going to get an iPad as well. Because that's the kind of mom I am in The Sims. <laughs> no shame. Give me the Wabba tablet. Where is it? Why can't I find the Wabbit tablet? There it is. Oh my god. That was weird. Okay, let's get a Wabbit tablet. Yeah! Of course. And then there was something else I was going to put in here too. My brain cannot remember. There was something else I was going to do. Oh my god. That's so frustrating. Ah! What's it? What's it? Oh, I remember. I was going to do a stuffed animal. Figured it out. That wasn't that deep, but <laughs> I just like having a cute little stuffed animal on their bed. Like, look at how cute that is. I feel like that's so realistic. At least for me growing up, I used to like stack plushies all over my bed all the time. Every plushie had its like spot. And it was very important to me that they were in their spots before I went to bed. So. Maybe we'll have like a little toy right here too. There we go. Still do that as an adult. I don't have like spots for plushies on my bed anymore, but I still sleep with plushies for sure. I would probably do it if I didn't have a husband. So thanks Tony for ruining everything. What about the ivy curtains and she's ivy? Ooh, that's a fun idea. Um, 
There is an object I'm thinking of that maybe we could do. Like this. Tony ruins everything. Like what if we what if we kind of had like fun little ivy strips going around the the bedroom like that. Um I'm not sure if these ones will work in here. I mean, I guess I could do that. Yeah, that's kind of cute. There we go. Very plant core. That's definitely giving more ivy energy, right? Let me just automate the life. Thanks for a whole four years of cozy looks, rich love. Prelude! Four years! That doesn't seem real. That doesn't seem real at all. Thank you. I appreciate you. I hope everything's going well. Thank you. Oh, every sub brings us closer to Olge. Okay, you're tired. I don't think she can go upstairs. I'm gonna have to teleport her up here. Go to bed. Good night, Ivy. Have a good time at choir rehearsal. Don't mention old. I refuse to believe in old. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad. My bad. This is a pretty house. Thanks. Yay. I'll keep the night light on. Hey, Lady Sadie, thank you for the seven month resub. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right. Just like a general reminder, if you guys are like curious about specific Sims things, like how to do things, and I'm unable to show you accurately because maybe you have a different computer or maybe you're on console. There's definitely like so many YouTube tutorials out there. Like you could probably just Google it so fast. Half the time when people ask me questions, I have to Google the answer for them. And I'm like, you know, you could have just Googled it. <laughs> could have just Googled it in the first place. Um, so yeah, if something, if you're looking for something like super specific, that I'm unable to find for you or show because I'm not in your house and I can't see what's happening. Definitely Google is a really, really great resource because like a lot of people like me, creators like to, to make tutorials and stuff. So yeah, lots of tutorials. All right, let's resume this painting maybe. Yes, I am. I'm in your walls, every single one. Oh my god, Clem is like sleeping. She is so tired. Poor thing. Ren, wait, how are you carrying the dog? Oh, for a second there, it looked weird the way that he was carrying it. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's awesome. I'm glad you found it. All right. Thank you for cleaning the dog after kicking grandma out from cleaning the dog earlier. Light sleeper. Okay, great. You're aggressive and you're a light sleeper. That is not great. Go back to bed. Go back to bed, Ivy. She's so freaking cute though. Look at her. So cute. Yay. Hi, Cam. How are you? I think I missed when he got that amazing mustache. Oh yeah, we moved him in the house and we were like, yeah, we'll give him a mustache. <laughs> I don't know why. I was just like, I kind of like this mustache on him. So it works, right? Yes, there are so many tutorials and so much content on literally everything. So grateful for the internet. Yeah, like you can pretty much find out anything you want on Google. Growing up, like 
my brother never really understood how to Google things. Like, he would, um, I would be playing like Zelda or something, and he would be playing after me, and he'd be like, can you show me how to do this? Can you show me how to do this? Can you like, can you do this for me? And, you know, first few times, I'm like, sure, bro, I got you. But after a while, I'd be like, dude, I am not going to play the game for you. You need to learn how to look things up on your own. Like, it's crazy. Like, he would literally basically give me the the handheld and be like, can you do this for me? I'm like, no, I did it for myself already. Like, if you seriously need help fighting a boss and you can't beat it, then I'll help you. But I'm not going to, like, figure out the entire game for you, you know? That's like one of my pet peeves. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have Ren come clean the coop really quick. I thought the uh, farmhand was going to do that, but I guess not. I guess not. Yeah, it'll be fine. The, the puddle will dry up. It'll be good. I'm thankfully not playing with mold right now, so we should be okay. I used to give my sister the second Nintendo controller and tell her she was the bad guys. Oh, that's cute. Did you ever get those game guide books? I did. I had one for Wind Waker and I had one for um, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Oh my God, Sakura is going around cleaning up all the trash. She's so cute in her granny era. Look at her. She's still so slay. Oh, nice, Tamara. As a younger sibling myself, I bet your brother wanted to spend time with you and didn't want to admit it. <laughs> I mean, I definitely played with him. Like, we'd play cars. We'd play with, like, our action figures and stuff. So when it came to the game, I was like, do it yourself. <laughs> well, it's a poor hatchable egg. Okay, well, I'm going to just sell that one. I think all the egg qualities are poor because of the coop status. Maybe my range hand isn't doing as well as I thought she was. Did Mualipa get taken care of? Yeah, okay, Mualipa's taken care of. Oh no, Nabeline's having the glitch where she can't use the ball for some reason. If y'all didn't know right now, there's a glitch with horses where the ball will like, they, they start ignoring it and their fun goes down a lot, so. All you have to do is get a new ball again. It's kind of annoying. Sorry, I'm new, but does your husband also game? Uh, yeah, Tony Tony plays games. He doesn't stream them, though. He, he works a standard corporate job. Not a, not a streamer, if that's what you're asking. Sakura, can you feed Dove, please? Please? Hi, Raccoon! How are you? Yeah, I used to love, like, flipping through the guidebooks and stuff. Like, it was so exciting. Sometimes he plays Among Us with us, but he doesn't stream it, so... Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> Oreos are ice cream? That's a good question. I say both. I say both. Ren is honestly one of the best sim fathers I've ever had. Hey, what's up, sis? I wanted to see this new sims. Want to see this new sims Grammy and I found? I thought it was pretty funny. What do you think? She's a boomer now. She doesn't get it. Uncomfortable silence. Oh, whoops. Sorry. No, you think you got food poisoning? Oh my God. I'm so sorry to hear that. That is literally not fun at all. That sucks. My stomach is definitely not like the best right now either. Like it's better than it was yesterday. But towards the end of my stream, it felt like my stomach was doing like somersaults. I was like, what is happening? I don't know what was going wrong. Tony's funny. Yeah, I'm really glad you guys enjoy having him around because, yeah, he's he's a load of fun. His bromance with Dan is hilarious. Yeah, he has a bromance with Dan and he barks for Tyler, so... 
Hey you, happy birthday. I'm sending you a little something I thought you might enjoy. Let's see each other again soon, okay? Wait, that's a cute pop-up. I don't know if I remember ever getting that pop-up. That's a cute one. Tony is great, but don't tell him that. Okay, I won't. Your birthday gift from family is on its way, arriving via mail sometime soon. Be on the lookout. How much do you want to bet it's a packet of seeds? That's usually what it is. Family will be like, I thought of you when I saw this. And it's like flower seeds or something like that. But you know, it's sweet, but I'm like every single time. God, I forgot how cool Tatum looks in their new school outfit. They're, they're kind of a professor. I love how they dress. Oh, well, that's great news, Ashlands. I, I hope that the appointment goes well. Thank you so much for keeping me in the loop. I'm really glad to hear that um, it's out of the hospital. The way you and Dan just know every time, though. Yeah. <laughs> the men cannot know that we like them. <laughs> Future cubes, telescopes, and even flowers. Really? Maybe I'm just unlucky then, because I tend to just get flowers. Ren, will you do tummy time? Hey, will you do tummy time? Sakura loves sleeping on this bench. I don't know what it is about this bench. This is like her favorite bench. Tatum would be the cool stylist professor. Yeah, they really are. Why are you doing it in here? I mean, that's fine, I guess. Tummy time with Dove. Hi, Sasha. Oh. I would love Tatum as my professor. Oh, slash. Oh, sorry. They're on the toilet. Oh, slash if you would want Tatum to be your English professor. Because they're pretty cool. They're pretty cool. <laughs> Woo, new milestone. Let's go. Right, I'm gonna see if Sakura can cook us something for dinner. That would be lovely. Hopefully vegetarian. I really need to start cooking stuff on my own though. Love that. Hey Sasha, welcome in. All right, Clem, let's have you go do some nectar making. Supposed to be working on that. Just haven't been doing it very much. What's going on? I don't think I've saved yet today. Um. Um. I, what did I do? I just clicked on nectar making. Well. Um. Okay, I just hit save and exit with all F4. Okay, I'm going to reopen it. Deep breaths, everyone. I'm ready to wrist stab the Sims. 
Thank you guys for reminding me. Oh my gosh. All my fingers and toes are crossed right now. Yeah, if you're playing The Sims right now, make sure to save. You never know when it's going to strike. It could be when you're making nectar. Okay, that's a good sign. Woo! Just saved my game because of that. You're welcome. Oh, you've had a lot of crashes this past week? This is like my first time playing The Sims in a week, so... If there's something weird going on, I guess I'm unaware of it. No, Dice Dream's crashed. No! How long since the last time you saved? I don't think I've saved at all today. So... Um, so let's hope that it, it saved with the cheat that I just did. Okay, I think it did. I think we're good to go. Because it's the middle of the day. Okay. Yeah, everything's fine. Everything's okay. The save worked. Woohoo! We did it! <laughs> It could have been worse than that. It could have totally just crashed. Thanks, everyone. I'm glad that y'all were there. I don't know what's going on with my plants, though. They're definitely weirdly glitched and stuff. Like, this is weird. Yeah, that was so brave of us. All right, Tatum. Aw. Wait, can you put... I guess maybe Dove's asleep. I guess we'll leave her on the floor for now. That's fine. Tatum is feeling very energized right now from a special birthday call. <laughs> That's so cute. And the Sims wonder why you've been treating with Stardew. Yeah, Stardew hasn't crashed on me, so... Maybe that's why. All right, just making nectar. It's really squelchy in here. All right, can I make... What kind of nectar can I make? I think I can make... Strawberry nectar now? Oh, I have to clean it. Oh, my bad. Wait, why does it say I can't clean it? Hello? Oh my god, is it because the horse is coming over here? Maybe that's why. <laughs> I would love some strawberry nectar. Me too, me too. Okay. Fine, Sakura can clean it then. That's okay with me. Looks like Clem is going to bed. Cherry is not doing well. Let me give a treat. Get to know. Yeah. All right. Sim day is almost over. And then at the end of the sim day, I might actually have to go to the bathroom for a little bit yeah. to fight some demons. If y'all are okay with that. <laughs> I know. Isn't she so round? She she looks like a perfect cinnamon swirl right now. Uh, Molly, thank you so much for the 20-month resub. Thank you, thank you. Welcome back. I hate when demons get into my bathroom. I know, isn't it the worst? Literally the worst. Alright, go get clean. Take care of all your needs. What's wrong, Tatum? Warmish wash from cleaning off the grid. Oh. Did you actually go take a shower, though? Like, that's what I need to know. Because it says you're still dirty. Is anyone else playing The Sims today? Or are y'all still playing Stardew Valley? 
That's my next question. There we go. Frames keep dropping. That's so weird. Stop! Stop lagging! You're playing Genshin? You are playing The Sims? All right, there we go. I'm not alone then. What is going on? Stop framing like that. Every time I exit, it fixes itself, but... You are playing The Sims? Sims after a lot of Stardew? Been on Sims most of the day? On cleaning and cooking break? I'm playing The Sims? Haven't played Stardew because the update isn't out yet for Switch? No! Finally caved and started a new Stardew save. Oh yeah, I think I put I saw you posted your character in the Stardew chat. Which by the way, I went through the Stardew channel in Discord and I saw all of the characters that y'all have been posting. And all of you are cuties. I just need you to know that. Such cuties. Playing Stardew. Yeah, we're gonna be playing Among Us on April 1st, April Fool's Day. Because Last year, uh, Among Us did like an April Fool's thing, so we kind of want to uh, see if that's going to be a thing again this year. All right, everybody get ready for bed. Started a Stardew save and I'm having fun. Nice! I'm playing 100 Baby right now. The save is a copy of my legacy save and my heir and the matron fell in love and have the children together now. Nice! Doing a little bit of knitting. Oh, I love that for you. I love Stardew, but I was excited to see you're playing Sims today. Me too. Yeah, I wanted to play Sims today because we're going to be playing Star Stardew on uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. So I was like, we need we need a little a little bit of Sims in our life. I miss her. Perfect day to play Among Us. Yeah, so on Monday. So literally a week from today, we're going to be playing Among Us. I still have to ask everyone if we're going to be playing with the, the mod or not. It's just, I have this weird rule in my head that if I send the last message, I can't like send the next message. So we have like a channel where we've been planning and I have sent like the last message. And I don't want to like spam because <laughs> it was a question. And then I was like, oh no, I probably shouldn't send another question. So I just, I can't ask. Sorry, everyone. I can't ask if we're playing with the mod. <laughs> it's against my rule. <laughs> it's so dumb that I have that like little rule in my head, but that's just how my brain works. So. Because I don't want to annoy anybody. The mod was so much fun, right? Is that a rug under the table? Yeah, it's a rug that I duplicated and rotated like six times or something. Okay, I am really quickly, since it's the nighttime and all my Sims are in bed, I am going to go to the bathroom really quick and I will be right back. Um, my stomach is just not feeling the best. So just give me a couple of seconds, you guys. Um, I'm so sorry. And then we will keep playing with our legacy save, okay? Here be. Hi everyone. Thanks for waiting. Okay. Are you ready to game? Let's do this. I was debating taking today off, but I got to be honest with you guys. I was like really excited to hang out. So that's why I'm here today. So hopefully you're okay with maybe just one or two extra bathroom breaks. So I, I like wanted to hang out today, you know? Yummy. <laughs> we have lobsters. Okay, why? Why are there? Oh my God. I take everything back. I don't want to hang out with you guys. You're scaring me with the lobsters. We were not lobbying with lobsters. Don't look at chat. Okay. Okay. Well, it was nice. It was a good time while it lasted, but I think I gotta go. Oh, what's that mom? Dinner's ready. Okay. I'm on my way home. See you soon. Sorry, chat. I just, wow, something came up so suddenly. My mom says I have to go home. Hmm. <laughs>
Thanks, Lucy. That's very sweet of you. Okay, hopefully that takes care of my little lag issue. No, don't wake up grandma. Okay, that did not take care of my lag issue. All right, well, now that you're up, you're going to help me go potty. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Rayla's calling me. Are any of us straight? I bet there's a couple straight people in chat, right? There's always a few. There's always a few. There we go. Okay, potty time. Me, O slash. Yeah, see, there we go. There we go. Ally. <laughs> we gotta have our token straights to balance us out. It's true. It's true. Okay, let me go ahead and find out what's spoiled in here. That actually might be a difficult thing because my refrigerator is so full at this time. Apparently I have wolf ears in here. Sorry, wolf eels, not wolf ears. Be clear. Hi, Emily. I'm doing good. It's good to see you. Okay, Tatum, you can go back to bed after this. I'm sorry that Ivy woke you up. I wanted to see the wolf ears. What, in my fridge? This isn't Baldur's Gate. You can't just collect hyena ears. Are we talking about bisexuality? We're just talking. I, I asked if there were any straight people here. That's all. And there's, there's quite a few, as expected. We were just making a joke that most of us are gay. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very queer space, so. Sashley, thank you for the 29 months. Thank you. Who doesn't love a little rainbow in their lives, you know? Okay. I'm kind of upset that you're awake right now, so I think I'm just going to send you back to bed. Because it's literally the middle of the night. So true, Silicon. So true. You're welcome. It's a bag of Skittles up in here. So true. Oh, great. Now Dub's awake. Where are you? Oh, you're on the ground. I looked in the crib and I saw the crib was empty and I was like, where even is she? <laughs> Just play with your toys. They're going to be fine. Everything's going to be okay. Speaking of okay, when are their birthdays? Okay, Dove Age is up on Sunday. That's exciting to me. Alright, Sakura, go pee and then... Maybe... Oh, can you feed Dove? That'd be great. Oh my god, this bathtub is horrific. Not the mold. Wow. That is a health hazard. That's so gross. And it's wood too, so it's just marinating. Just marinating in the mold. New boo. Oh, Ivy's awake as well. Hi, girly. Let's go play on our iPad a little bit. Let's go play Sim Shape. He would go in and come out less clean. So true. God, I have the swamp quality. You are soggy, Shella. Well, yeah, I am. <laughs> And that is not a crime. Okay, let's watch some TV. You need to have some fun as well. What should we do for fun with you? Do you want to go ride the horse, maybe? Go wake up Nabeline. Let's go horseback riding. I feel like that'll be some fun. We haven't been able to ride the horse in a while since we've been pregnant. Hi, Nabeline. Let's do this. 
I will never get over the beauty of this house. You cannot force me to. <laughs> oh, that's fun, Emily. Is it similar to Pickru's? Because there was a Pickru going around Goblin Chat last night that was like Stardew related. So, isn't she so pretty? We rescued her. Come on, I want to go on a ride. Go for a relaxed ride. I feel like Clem still isn't the best at horse riding. Also, this is probably the worst outfit to wear. You're in like a skirt and flip flops. Yeah, it's kind of the same. Look at her. She's so uncomfortable. She's like, I don't know how to ride a horse. This is not the best outfit for this girly. We can pretend those are wide legged pants. Yeah, I guess we're going to have to. It's ruining my immersion. All right, have a good time. Meanwhile, back on the ranch. Let's go take care of the animals. Clean coop, collect eggs, gather feed. Nothing stops a cat girl. Ye heckin' haw. So cute. Put Dove in back carrier. Can you actually do that? I'll cry right now. <gasps> God, wait, that's so cute. Are you joking me? Okay, let's go let's go take care of the crops she's so grandma core look at her whoa that was weird i did not like that <laughs> oh my god yeah i've heard of that life hack with the earplugs that's kind of wild isn't it ew what is happening here Terry, are you for real? I literally gave her a bath yesterday. Dove is not liking the outdoors. Oh my gosh, I'm glad he figured it out, Button. Why are you sad? Purpose of life, fear of unfulfilled dreams. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, everyone's doing fine. Jedi training with baby Yoda. She's an inside bird. Are, is the Lily generation supposed to like the inside more? Because that, that'd be kind of funny. <laughs> Oh, she passed out. She tired. Good night, Dove. For a second, I thought this was your Not So Berry series, and I was confused on where all these kids came from. Oh, are you, um, by chance caught up on Not So Berry? Just asking. I guess his life isn't enough. No, he's so sad. Ooh. Lily Jen is a Granite Falls loving sim. Oh, well, maybe she'll grow to like the outdoors a little bit more. Ren's like, I literally am a developer. Why am I out here? Whoa, I collected four special eggs. I got two golden eggs. That's exciting. Oh, you just heard new names and it confused you. Got it. You thought the dog and the horse were kids. Oh. Yeah, um, definitely not. Okay, you guys can go home now. Why are you just standing out here? Like, you you can come home. Yeah, I cheated and got a golden chicken. 
I feel like she's getting more comfortable. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I spoke too soon. <laughs> yeah, there are fumes coming from the fridge. I gotta clean it out. Here we go. Noob. No, I don't want a gig. You think you need a wellness check? I think you're thriving. I think you're having fun. And that's what matters. Did I? Okay, I guess I cleaned out the spoiled food. That's good. I should probably order some groceries, though. Let's get a grocery delivery. Okay, I definitely need... Not milk. I could use some cheese. Uh, flour. I guess milk bread. Sugar. Yeah, there we go. Maybe I'll just get a couple of everything as well. Might as well. I mean, we're like really rich, so. What's it matter? Okay, I won't buy that one, though. Okay, grapes, green beans, huckleberries, lemons, mushrooms, parsley. She's a vegetarian, so I'm not going to buy any, like, meats or anything. Pomegranate is interesting. We're literally just going to buy out the entire, um... What's it called? The entire grocery store. They're going to be like, these people literally emptied the shelves. Yeah, glow orb. I think the glow orb is from Sixum, maybe? Hi, Mo. How are you? I am having a good day. Hello. Okay, you can get off the horse. Dismount. You called? Oh my god, and the mail has been delivered too. I might have my birthday present in the mail. Yeah, the only thing left in the store is meat after I've been there. All right, what did we get? Crystal. Oh, two future cubes and a bunch of animal treats. Oh my god, it's the vampire delivery man. I forgot he's a vampire. I forget every time. I have to welcome him into the home. <laughs> you just got back from work? Oh, I hope you had a good day. Is anyone else finishing their work day? All right. Oh, Tatum, are you just out in the... Okay. Yeah, that's fine. You can do that. What's wrong with Ren? Can you clean the dog again? I hate to say this, but she rolled around in some pee water. <laughs> Glow cube. There we go. You still have the baby on your back. I think that's like dedication right there. Okay, so I can make strawberry nectar now. Let's go do that. Watching while you work. I work in hospitality, so good doesn't really exist, but it was quiet, which is as close as it's going to get. Fair enough. Fair enough. Can we get Ren a potion to get rid of his fear? Um, I might just delete it. No, I don't want to go hang out at the at the shack. No, thank you. And then I can unload the delivery bag as well. I wish I could do this one. I just looked up the requ the requirements and I don't have a couple of the packs needed. Oh no. That's always frustrating. It's kind of hard to find a base game challenge, so I wrote a base game challenge myself. It's called the Career Legacy Challenge. So if you are looking for a challenge with no pack requirements, that's a good one to do. 
Because, yeah, a lot of challenges out there have, like, pack requirements. What mods do I use? Uh, there are some links in the chat. I don't use too many mods, thankfully. <laughs> okay, the dog is still freaking dirty. You know what? I'm gonna make you better. Because I'm tired of you being dirty and sad. So annoying. <laughs> Alright, there we go. We got our nectar. Let's go ahead and make another nectar. It looks like I can make potato nectar. Kind of interesting. Let me just buy some potatoes. There we go. And then I'm going to put the nectar into the rack here. Got an aging rack. Oh, is there a base game version of Simpson Bloom? That's actually really exciting. Okay, attaching a baby to the back of a Sim is kind of OP. She's immediately taking care of it. Nice work, Sakura. I have quite a few of the packs, but some of the ones for Bloom I'm missing, like Snowy Escape, Outdoor Retreat, and Dine Out or something. Got it. Which do you prefer, hair overlay or color slider? Um, I prefer the color slider mod, but I have both of them right now. Oh, look, yeah, there is a base game one. Yay! So you could do that one. Maybe just substitute the, the generations that you need. All right, let's clean out the spoiled food. Hi, Lily. How are you? Hello, hello. All right, there we go. I'm gonna do another strawberry nectar. There we go. Okay. Yeah, you have Culver's? Ooh, I'm jealous. I'm a little hungry right now. How does it feel to be living my dream? Okay, should I do another job? Sunday at 9 a.m. Yeah, I can do that. Aw, thanks, Ants. I hope that your bronchitis is getting better. Yeah, welcome to the live streams. <laughs> That's so cool. All right, chat with client and encrypt file. Oh, I'm jealous. I think tonight, my new hyperfixation food that I've been having every night is just chicken and rice, which is like, you can do a lot with that, but I'm pretty sure we're having that again tonight. Sorry to Tony. <laughs> He's like, what do you want for dinner? And I'm like, the same thing that I've been having for the past 10 days. <laughs> it's annoying when I do that, but I don't know. We'll see how long it lasts. At least it's an easy dish to make, right? Okay, let's go change your diaper. Actually, no, I'm going to I'm going to put you to bed. <gasps> oh, Red is family oriented. That's cute. Oh, I love that. He's been hanging out with his daughter so much. Cheese pizza on non bread. Ooh, that sounds good. Only thing I want to eat right now is sandwiches. Yeah, that's a fun question. What's your current hyperfixation food chat? I want to know. Stop. Why did it get rid of all of his? I queued up freaking tasks for him to do. Don't feel bad. Spaghetti, crust, ales. 
Tex Mix, mac and cheese, cereal, chicken nuggies, lasagna. Oh, that's awesome, Cece. Happy to help. Oatmeal, pasta, low carb tortillas, Uncrustables. Oh, I love Uncrustables. And potato casserole, spicy pickles, popcorn, turkey, and avocado. Couscous. Homemade pepper, red pepper curry, overnight oats, Annie's white cheddar mac and cheese. That's my favorite. Tacos, Ron Hargo, dumplings, veggie nuggets, butter noodles, mac and cheese, lasagna. Lots of pasta hyperfixations. Hummus and pita. Bunless burger with bacon, extra patty, and broccoli. Shrimp grits, bagels, chicken nuggets. Chocolate. Macca's burger, pizza, bananas. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Honestly, you know, something I saw um, on, I think it was TikTok or something, was these people, um, this person has the same issue that I have, which is like not knowing what I want to eat until I like see it. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, I would like to eat that. So they created, like, a menu for their own refrigerator. Is that not, like, the smartest idea ever? I think I might create, like, a menu as if my own refrigerator is a restaurant. Because I think that that would help me a lot. So I could be like, oh, yeah, I can order this. And then it's, I, I just make that or whatever. So... Pasta is so good. I think I saw that. Yeah, I think it'd be so fun. I could like Photoshop a girly pop menu or something. It would be so fun. All right, I'm going to have uh, Sakura make an aubergine parmesan. Are we going to implement that when I get back home, right? Yeah, that's the same with me. Like my ADHD makes it so hard for me to remember and like I feel bad for Tony because he'll be like, what do you want to eat? And I'm like, I haven't really thought about it that much. And normally people could be like, oh, yeah, we'll go. We'll just go here. But he has something that he has to do for me is list like every restaurant in within like a five mile vicinity for me to like know. And I feel bad because that's like exhausting that he has to do that every night. So I'm thinking if I just make like a menu, it might help. Exactly, exactly, Emily. I always get like the same stuff at the grocery store. Same here. Yeah, the menu thing might help. That's what I'm thinking too. And it's kind of like a fun little thing because you can like customize your own menu and stuff. Just make, make like a cute little, cute little menu. It could be kind of fun. Yeah, I've tried doing weekly meal plans before and it just doesn't work for me, unfortunately. So maybe like a weekly menu might work. Yeah, I'm just really grateful because Tony is a lot better at keeping track of those things than I am. I did the menu thing when my kiddo was young, but now that I live alone, I'm terrible. Oh no. You could do it again. For me, I can find something to eat no matter where we go, so I hate when people ask me where I want to eat. I wish I was like that. I unfortunately have uh, ARFID, so if we want to go eat somewhere, I have to always check ahead of time to make sure that there is something I can find there to eat. Which also makes me, like, really, like, nervous to eat out with friends and stuff because I don't want to be the reason why people can't go to their favorite restaurant. Like, I'll just go sit there and watch you eat, I guess. Like, I won't eat there. And that just makes me feel bad. So. Alright, let me go ahead and sell that. Something went wrong with the encryption. The file got corrupted and can't be opened anymore. Oh, he has to try again. Oh, I'm sorry, Ren. Okay, you can try again in the morning. That's rough.
Okay. Everyone's going to bed. This is good. Oh my goodness. Yeah, chicken tenders is a safe food of mine too. Pasta is usually a pretty good safe food. Um, but sometimes like places will have like pre-mixed pasta. And if it's mixed with things that I don't like, then I can't have it. Also, pho is a safe food for me, which you might find surprising because like pho can have a lot of things in it. But the stock is like usually separate from everything else that they add in. Or if it's not, the places that I go will strain it and it's like not the biggest deal. So like, I can kind of build my own bowl. Yeah, eating out can be really hard. Mm -hmm. Grab milestone! Pasta and burgers. Steak is my safe food, but it's so expensive. Yeah, steak is usually a safe food for me, too. But I, I am the kind of person who does not like the fat of a meat. So, like, some cuts of steak are fatty. And I always have to remove the fat. So if most of the steak has fat in it or it's like really marbled, then I'm like, well, that's a bummer. I'm going to be picking at my food all night and it's embarrassing. Um, and it's unfortunate because more expensive cuts usually have less fat. So it's just the way the cookie crumbles. <gasps> Your air just died of laughter. In that quick of a span, oh my god, I'm so sorry that happened to you. Tragedy. I eat so many eggs, I bought a massive hard-boiled egg machine that will hard-boil 12 of them for me. That seems intense. I also really like eggs, too. I like scrambled eggs. My family thinks I'm weird because I bite into fat and I'm done. Yeah, I can't. I don't like it. It's bad. And my family doesn't get it either. Like, I don't understand why some people can't understand that, like, everyone's different and it's okay if someone likes something and you don't or vice versa. Like, why are you acting as if someone is so freaking weird for not liking things exactly the way you do? Like, that is so the world is revolving around me core and like main character syndrome. I don't know. Kind of wild. Yeah, I usually have scrambled eggs every morning. So. Tony eggs. Just ask. Um, when we were when we were in Vegas for TwitchCon, um, Tony would make eggs for everyone who was staying with us because a bunch of us kind of got a, a large hotel suite for a pretty good price last year. And he made eggs for us every morning and everyone loved Tony eggs. It was the best day. What about eggs? Oh, I'm telling my chat that you make good eggs. Well. They're called Tony eggs. Not everyone would think they're good. Because, as an FYI, the way I make them, they're a little more wet than some people may like. So they're like soft, soft scrambled. So they're like m more mushy. Rather. So good. Not everyone likes it. I mean, somebody's, somebody's boyfriend who was there. On a mod, not... Breast meat. Oh my god. What the? Automod flagged breast meat. I mean... I get it. I get it, Automod, but it's not that deep. It's not weird until you make it weird. <laughs> Anyways. See, Taylor. Taylor Taylor wants a dry well, egg. Well, then you don't need to have Tony eggs. Yeah. I mean, I'll make them that way. It's just... More people I know, the, a lot more people I know like some more soft and mushy. It's me. The people you know. Why are you up? By because way, my, you pooped your pants? My work is done, by the way. So oh! We got done earlier. Uh, yeah, that's earlier than I thought it was going to be. Well, we predicted three hours. It yeah. Took, it took two. Okay. I guess you guys are just that good at your job. Sure. Pretty smart. Yeah.
Yeah. I'm getting hungry now. Do you think, like, if if we start making food now, we'll be ready in, like, 30 minutes? Uh, I mean, I could. I was hoping to chill. For oh, a yeah, no, that's fine. That's you just got done. That's good. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Tony is so smart, you guys. Stop. Sorry. Tony's so dumb. <laughs> there. I won't call him smart ever again. My bad. Yeah, I like I like them to be wet. Wet enough that you could like take a knife and like spread them on toast. Those are my favorite. <laughs> you figured you could season hard boiled eggs? I like hard boiled eggs only if they're deviled eggs. Why are you dying? Oh my god, no. I knew this was gonna happen. <gasps> no! No! Oh my god, my dog died! You guys! Cherry! <laughs> no! In the middle of the night, too. Sakura's not even gonna notice until she wakes up. That's so sad. Oh, Tatum woke up. Oh, Sakura woke up, too. I'm sorry. Can you plead? I don't think you can. Yeah, I can't even select Grim. I'm sorry, Sakura, your lifelong buddy. I feel bad. Yeah, I did prepare us for this a couple streams ago, Jin and I. That's so sad. Yeah, I can't even click on Grim. I guess there's no way to save the dog. Sad. She definitely outlived like longer than she was supposed to live because I kept giving her age down treats, so. All right. Well, that was rough. <sighs> and now Clem and Tatum have a fear of death. Great. Bad news, Tatum. Um, you're next, probably. Hate to say it. You can't plead for animals. That's so sad. Our household got smaller, though, so that's exciting to me. No offense, Tatum, but you're next. I keep thinking the urns are rice cookers because they look like my rice cooker IRL. <laughs> I can kind of see it. That's so messed up. <laughs> I don't think you want to cook your rice in that, Bessie. Might be a little dry, a little grainy. Okay, I will be taking the rest of the day off. <laughs> oh, the forbidden rice cooker. <laughs> that is so messed up. Yeah, from a distance, from a distance. Fair enough. From a distance. Want to do tummy time? We can do tummy time. Oh, look at Ren. He woke up in the middle of the night to come check on his daughter. What a cutie. Oh, there's some spoiled food in here. Gross. Gross. Oh my god, did you wake up and immediately start crying under the covers? That's so relatable. I've been there. Wake up and then just immediately cocoon i don't know 
know why you just grab bread to eat like this, though. Okay, this might be a hot take. I am not a bread hater, but I don't just eat bread. I hope we can still be friends. <laughs> Hello. I got a hey! of my childhood cat yesterday. Oh wait, that's so sweet, Lady Cabbage Patch. Also, thank you for the one your resub. Can we get some variety modes in the chat? I love that for you. That is so sweet. What a fun way to remember your childhood cat. No toast either. I can do toast, but like, I'm not just gonna go grab a slice of bread. I think the only slice of bread that I would grab and consume would be sourdough. But anything other than that, I'm like, I would rather just eat the inside of the sandwich. Like, just give me a pile of lunch meat and cheese and I'll eat that without the bread. I don't know. Sorry if this upsets you. <laughs> the middle of the night bread snack, even better. Okay, Lulu, if you come visit me, I will have bread for you. How about that? I'll buy you a whole loaf. It'll be Lulu's loaf. True love. <laughs> Nobody else will touch it. I just like hear the floor creaking in the middle of the night and I'm like, what's going on? And I just see you like in the corner, like <laughs> with your bread <laughs> in a dark corner. I could see that. I respect that. Oh, this is my golden chicken. Apparently she's starving. Don't be that dramatic. I fed you yesterday. All my sims are sad, though, because my dog died, so. You can have the inside of my sandwich. I just want the bread. Okay, deal. But yeah, I like tortillas better than bread, so. Will you stop digging in my trash? That's so inappropriate of you. What the heck? Fresh bread? I guess. I don't know. Ren, could you cook something? I don't know if you've ever cooked before. Would you like to try? Could you make some vegetable dumplings? I summoned you from a wishing well. Surely you came with cooking skills, right? I have had the Texas Roadhouse rolls. Okay. The caveat to this conversation is I like the bread that they serve at like sit down restaurants. Like the little, here's the before the meal bread. That stuff is always a sleigh. I will eat that. But I'm talking about like, go to the grocery store, get a loaf of bread. Like I, I don't, I don't know why I just don't like eating that. It's like, I'm very specific. I don't know. Sorry to be so complicated. I'm just so complex, you guys. She is so complex. Oh my god, I have a hatchable golden egg. And a rainbow egg? Oh. Let me see if I can hatch this one. <gasps> what? No, you did not set the kitchen on fire. Ren! Ren, do something! Someone do something! Stop just screaming there! Extinguish it! Hurry up! Put the fire out! Oh my god. Okay, I should not allow him to cook ever again. This was a mistake. I just wanted vegetable dumplings. Okay, well gotta replace my stove and my range hood thanks a lot ren yeah i should have started with a salad that was my first mistake was trusting this man to do something right no honestly he's been great just this is not his greatest moment that's okay now you're just gonna eat bread i told you to make dumplings he looks really disappointed in himself i'll stop yelling 
Controversial take, I can't eat cheese by itself. I don't think we can be friends anymore. Sorry. Oh, you have Rayla! Hi, Rayla! Rish Wiggle! <laughs> she really wiggly today. Hi, baby! Hi, Rayla! Hi, cozy girl! Oh, so cozy! Oh, so cozy! She giving you lovies. Mm -hmm. Aww. She's very mad at me earlier. Why is she mad at you? Because I wasn't done working. Oh, she wanted like attention. Yeah. Well, you should have stopped working and given her attention. Well, she kept climbing up onto the table and trying to get my attention, and it didn't happen. Oh. Rayla. You can put her in her basket. She's so baby. She's gonna like bite you really hard on no, camera. She, no, she won't. She's biting me, but not hurting. Okay. Not, not, not hard at all. All right. See? She's got thoughts. Okay, she does not want to go in there. <laughs> Rayla? Why is she not letting you leave the room? Rayla, come here. <laughs> She's telling you to square up. <laughs> That's so cute. She's a little cutie magoo. Yeah, Olivia would never let me like manhandle her like that. Cats are so funny. Like, obviously every cat is different. But like, if I tried to do that to Olivia, she'd be like, literally never talk to me again. Rayla's okay with it, though. She actually likes it. She likes being like thrown around and stuff. Like, have you ever seen videos of people, like, throwing their cats onto the bed or something? And then they, like, run and jump into their, their human's arms again. Like, they want to keep doing it over and over again. Rayla's that kind of cat. Like, she loves that stuff. Olivia's like, don't touch me. <laughs> All right. What did you miss? Oh, um, our dog died. Why is there trash in my toddler's room? What is going on here? No, absolutely not. My cats cannot relate. Olivia's been in a phase of like not wanting to sit on the couch. Like she actually wants to sit on my lap, which is something that she's never really done before. So I'm like, what's going on? Do you know something I don't know? <laughs> like, uh, I think she's just cuddly. Oh, wow. She came in there quick. Oh yeah, uh, the kiwi rug is actually a marbles thingy. No, I don't want to be a tech guru. Oh my god, speaking of tech guru, after you help your daughter go potty, I need you to try to fix your app that you were working on. You failed it yesterday, so we'll have to try again today. Oh, a senior doggo thing. That's fair. My cats only like my lap if I have a blanket on. See, that's how Olivia used to be. But now, like, I will literally sit on the couch and I won't even have time to pull the blanket onto my lap. And she's already, like, trying to, to find a spot to sit on me. And I'm like, literally, can you just give me two seconds? Like, let me get comfortable, dude. She has, like, no patience. And I'm starting to wonder if maybe it's because she has to share me with Rayla. Because Rayla also likes sitting on my lap a lot. So maybe she's getting a little, like, territorial or something. I don't know. It's just funny. Because, like, you think you know everything about your cat, but then their behaviors will change one day. And you're just like, what is going on? I think she is jealous. I do. I think she might be a little jealous. Okay. Let's make some strawberry nectar. How's my nectar making skill? Oh my God, it takes forever to build this. What's the point of making 
a skill only have five levels if it takes like the same amount of time as a skill that has 10 levels you know it's like the illusion of less but it still takes the same amount of time it doesn't make any sense to me they're both little babies they are they're just my little babies Ren is such a cool art dad. What a fun outfit. Shrinkflation. <laughs> yeah, and you get less serotonin too. Exactly. Maybe because there's less stuff you unlock with each level. Maybe. I don't know. I just think it's silly. Okay, you are kind of hungry. So let me come get you some... Food. My child. I have some aubergine parmesan. Grab a slice. Who is this person again? Who, me? I'm Shella Shellerson the third. The one, the only. Imagine trying to talk to someone while they're literally doing this. That's so funny. Ew. Ugh. I do not like the squelching noise it makes. Sakura, can you go harvest all the prairie grass? Oh, the purple haired man. You mean my boyfriend who I summoned from the wishing well? Yeah. Um. That's Ren. He's also the father of my children. Sad sculpture. What did it taste like foot? I don't know. I've never personally tried anything stomped on by actual feet, I think. I don't know. Found a potato. Exciting day. Not really. I want to see what this uh, sad sculpture looks like, to be honest with you. Here we go. Okay. Where'd it go? What? In tarnation is that? I despise this. I cannot believe she just made this. No, we're gonna have to get rid of that. No, that is so cursed. You cannot keep that in the house. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, that looks like you. Oh, delightful. Not the sad clown. What's with the Sims 4 and all the sad, sad clowns? That's what I want to know. Why, why are they obsessed with sad clowns? All right, fine. I'll do it myself. Okay. Man, it's been so long since I've played with this family. Right. So we have birthday on Sunday, birthday on Tuesday. Okay, apparently Ren ages up before Clementine. They're both the same age, right? Young adult. Young adult. Oh, so he's older than her. I don't know how that happened. I figured it wouldn't taste like feet. Because, you know, there's a lot it goes through. I believe. Ren, did you ever finish your encrypting that I told you to do? Or did you ignore that? Because you do have a deadline. It's due on Sunday. So we should probably start encrypting the file. Oh, yep. Yeah, she was pregnant. You guys are so right. I was like, why is she so much younger? Oh, yeah. 
That's the one. Clem was, in fact, pregnant twice. Thanks for the reminder. <laughs> All right, how is this going? What level is our handiness? Level five? Oh. This is what you spent all your time making? Wow. It looks really good. I don't think that she's in the mood to make Lumberjack statue right now. Something's telling me. Yeah, let's sell all. There we go. All right. Pile of rocks. Ugh, so blessed today. Tatum's home. Hi, Tatum. You're sad too. Everyone's just so sad. I get it. I know the dog died. I understand. I'm gonna talk to Nabeline though. It's so cute. Nabeline. She has a good life. She's like really happy. Can you ride the horse? This is probably a bad idea because you're an elder. I'm gonna try it though. What could go wrong? Go for a relaxed ride. Imagine your sim could die from getting like bucked off of a horse. Where are you going? Hello? That was weird. Like a six point turn. You're secretly hoping they both die? What is wrong with you? What do you mean? <laughs> oh no. I don't want Tatum to die. They're old. Okay. Oh no, you're crying about the dead dog. I get it. Did you finish your your thing? Oh my god, you have five more files to encrypt. Dude, you're gonna have to do this. It's gonna take a while. I thought it was only one file I had to encrypt, but apparently it's five. I'm not getting paid enough for that. Okay, you maxed out your thinking skill, which is good. I'm gonna have you go to bed. No, I don't want to join that career. I'm secretly hoping cats could sit on horses. That would be cool if they could. I need someone to feed this baby. Feed Dove, please. Thank you. I guess the one nice thing about having this many people in the house is that someone's always around to, like, help take care of the baby and stuff. All right. Whew. Okay. Does anyone know a way to grow a cow plant inside of a city living apartment? Um, could you not just put it inside of, like, um, like the square garden pot. I think they also fit in the mini garden pots, right? Or will it, will it not do that? Because that's what I would do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're going on such a far, far little walk over here. Maybe you should come home. They won't germinate? Hmm. I don't know then. You might have to like get a fully grown one off the gallery, perhaps. Oh good, you're a free air tinkler. Great, perfect. Amazing. Yeah, I could try a balcony too. Cause some apartments have like the balconies and stuff. Oh, she hates being put down. Oh my god. So dramatic. 
Yeah, Reddit is kind of full of smart people. It's a good place to go. Okay, take care of your needs, please. Perfect. I think they need a few tiles in front for eating sims. Yeah, they definitely have like a like a long narrow hitbox. You can just go on the gallery and um type in cow plant. Like watch. If you just type in cow plant. You'll find something like this, and you can just place that down. That should probably work. Hey, Okra Cypress, welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Uh-oh, <laughs> other cat is in here. Hi, Reva. Hi. Are you a baby? So cute. All right. Yeah, go eat some food. Having my sims get ready for bed. Go to sleep. And then Clem. Okay, Clem's still doing things, right? Okay, yeah, you're still doing things. Tatum, I feel bad. I had them go ride on a horse. <laughs> Will that still count as growing one? Um, I don't know, but you know, it's worth a try, right? I think it should still count. I don't see why it wouldn't, but it is The Sims, so I guess you never know. Okay, go to sleep. Dove got the clapping milestone. Let's go. Yeah, of course. Sorry I can't be more help. Apartments are kind of weird in The Sims. There's always like something, some kind of restriction going on. All right, welcome home, Tatum. How was your horse ride? Perfect. All right, Sakura. Why does Sakura not want to sleep in her own bed? She, like, refuses to. She would rather sleep on the couches than go to her bed. So weird to me. All right, I'm going to send you to bed. And then I'm going to send... Well, okay, I can't send you to bed, but you're tired, so you'll probably fall asleep. Maybe you could plant them in a park. That's true. I guess you could try planting them somewhere else, right? See if it still counts. True, yeah. You could always move on to the next generation with her. That's a good idea. Whoa, have a sim stay fine for 48 hours straight. Um, I'm not sure about that one, Chief. My dog died and everyone has been really sad. So which sim has been fine for 48 hours straight? That doesn't add up to me. Maybe the horse. Does the horse count? Because the horse is the only sim with a fine emotion, I guess. <laughs> I guess, I guess, you know, the horse does count as a sim because it's in the family, but, um, all right, you guys, I'm actually going to go ahead and call it here a little bit early. Um, I'm feeling very fatigued and I mentioned this at the beginning of stream, but I think it's because I've been streaming like super late hours recently. I've been doing like five, six, seven hour streams. So I am going to go be horizontal now and disintegrate. But I'll be here tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to be going live uh, at our early time. So I'll be live at uh, 3 p.m. Eastern. And we're going to play Stardew Valley with Violet. So I'm excited for that. Yeah, I've been streaming overtime recently. Um, before I go, if you guys did want to help me out, we are doing a fun little sponsorship until the end of the month where if you download um, either one of these apps here, this is Dice Dreams, this is Domino Dreams, um, it will count for me as if you're gifting me like two subscriptions. So if you do both of them, it's the equivalent of gifting four subscriptions. So it's a way to monetarily support me for free if you'd like to, because the games are free to download. All you have to do is download and open them on your mobile device. So if that's something you're interested in, um, it would be super, super cool and it would help me out. So yeah, other than that, um, 
there the next sims and bloom episode is coming out tomorrow on the youtube channel if you guys did enjoy the stream don't forget to hit that follow button feel free to hop in discord for any and all updates stuff like that i posted the weekly schedule in there yeah i'm just tired i need to go lay down and be uh non-verbal for a bit so i'm gonna go do that if y'all are cool with that um yeah the the links are in discord if you type xmh point dreams in discord they'll pop up again um funny fun fact that i feel like a lot of people don't know most of the commands in twitch work in my discord as well so if you are ever like oh what's the shell challenge stuff you can type exclamation point shell and it will like pop up so it's kind of cool like that um but yeah thank you guys so much i really appreciate it um let's go find someone to raid sorry about the shorter stream today but i hope that you can forgive me a little bit um so yeah oh okay i never get to raid this person and I have a, a resub there. So let's go raid my friend, uh, Miss Lollipop Sims. It looks like she's starting a new generation today. So let's go say hi, show her a lot of love. I love her a lot. And I normally don't get to raid her because she streams before me. So uh, the fact that I'm ending early today, it means that I have a chance to um, raid her so that's pretty exciting but yeah thank you guys i will see you tomorrow again a little bit earlier than normal we're gonna play stardew valley with violet i love you all a lot and thank you for all the support today and hanging out with me bye Thank you for watching my YouTube video. I don't know what I'm singing. This is my outro, but thanks. See you next time. Love you. Bye.